We learned yesterday that there will be a delay affecting many countries, including Canada, for the next shipment of the Moderna vaccine, which arrives next week. We will receive 78% of the expected amount, translating to 180,000 doses. I want to be clear. We will always share the most accurate information we have, but in the short term, those numbers can fluctuate. But as global production continues to pick up, there will be more stability in the system. And most importantly, this temporary delay doesn't change the fact that we will still receive 2 million doses of the Moderna vaccine as planned before the end of month, M March, as we've been saying for months. On vaccines, I had another call with the global CEO of Pfizer, Dr. Albert Bourla, who confirmed yet again that we are still on track to receive 4 million doses of their vaccine before the end of March. We also talked about Canada receiving more doses ahead of schedule starting in the spring. We'll have more details to share on that next week. Production lines around the globe are adapting to high demand from every country. We are focused day in and day out on getting a vaccine to every Canadian who wants one by the end of September, and we are very much on track to do just that. No, thank you uh, for your questions. No, in my conversation uh, with the head of Vi Pfizer, um, we talked uh, about the question of five doses versus six, versus six doses. Uh, Health Canada is right now analyzing uh, the, the uh, state of uh, extraction of doses uh, in Canada, uh, the necessary techniques, training, equipment necessary, and they will make uh, the decision to ensure uh, the, the right decision uh, on the five doses versus six doses question. Uh, but I got assurance uh, from the head of uh, uh, Pfizer that we uh, would be, uh, we are continuing to be on track to receive uh, the doses committed to uh, by the end of March uh, as planned, as we've been saying from the beginning. Uh, and furthermore, uh, he made uh, very positive and encouraging comments about the possibility of bringing forward doses from Q4 to Q3, from Q3 to Q2. Uh, but those are things that we'll be able to talk about uh, in more detail once we have uh, better confirmation next week. Um, in regards to Moderna, uh, we are very preoccupied uh, with, uh, with that supply chain. Uh, no, sorry, we are, uh, of course, watching closely on that supply chain, but the announcement Moderna has made uh, uh, on a reduction of about 20% uh, across the board on deliveries uh, for this coming uh, week is only for this shipment and should be returned to normal uh, on the next shipment.